Maryland. It's week 13 of the NFL on EA Sports. Washington football team taking on the L.A. Chargers. It's a pretty frigid December day in our nation's capital. We got our space heaters on full blast up in the booth at FedEx Field. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Los Angeles Chargers and the Washington football team. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gaudin and Charles we look at this Washington team as they interplay here. They've certainly found their groove of late, winners of five in a row. And I think the sky's the limit for this team. They're playing the best football that they've played in a long time. First and 10, Herbert. And oh, right away, he lost the football. Jonathan. Able to fall on it, but look where they recovered it. That's a big loss. A lot of bad news on that play for them, wasn't there? Lost the football, lost a lot of yardage, but I think the good news outweighs it. Able to retain possession. That was big for them. Now this one from about two counties over after the sack. They come up on a second and very long. A shotgun snap for Herbert. Short pass caught by Henry. And down right around the 32-yard line. Four yards on the pickup. A game of four. And it's third down. Third and long. It's Herbert. Got a man and he hits him in stride. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. There's an example of good situational football being played by a defense. They understood where the third down play was, the down and distance, and made sure that they didn't get anywhere near that bringing up fourth down. Yeah, they were sniffing out that marker, didn't want to let him get close to there, and now a likely three and out to start. Yeah, I love the way they rallied to the football and got to him and made sure he didn't give up much run after catch. He punted three times in the loss last week as he sends this one away. We'll call that a 43-yard punt, two on the return. And that will come the offense as they take over. So out comes the Washington offense onto the field. And we get a glance here at their leader, the man who will be calling the plays under center. And I thought in last week's game, he found a way to win like a good pitcher without his best stuff. I mean, he did throw two interceptions, yeah. offset by one touchdown pass. Not the ratio, not the numbers you're really looking for as a QB. But finding a way to win, that's all that really matters. Jared Cook, the tight end, was the target. And that'll bring up second down. Defensively here, you're facing a top five team in terms of points scored in the NFL. So when they're that high power, you've got to find a way to hold them under 20. Because to me, that's the magic number. 20 points score gives yourself your, you give yourself your best chance to win. So if they're up around 24, 28, 30, they could be in some trouble. And I think so because then you turn it into a shootout, and that means your offense has to keep pace. Just a gain of a couple, but good enough to keep the drive rolling. Third and inches, they just hand it to the big battering ram there. That's I mean, that's football 101, isn't it? That's bread and butter. Turn around, hand it to the big fella, and let him get forward for a first down. Give this is their fullback. 
And to the 36-yard line, taken down there after getting eight yards. And that's a nice gain by him on first down, picking up some key yardage. Ahead of the chains now, second and two. Now back to throw. That's complete to Ward. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. Well, from their point of view, this game could not be starting out much better, could it? Force a punt on defense, and now they're moving it crisply on offense. Crisply, I like that. Like yeah, that. yeah, moving it very, very well. Looks like the defense on their heels a little bit. You put a score in here, long way to go, but you're right, that's a heck of a start. Yeah, and I think this is where the play caller is looking at his play sheet and saying, do I have that dagger play? Do I have that play and just finish them off right now? Because I think they'd love to gain that big advantage early. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 right at the 40. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Eluding the pressure right. And he's going to keep it here. It won't be a sack, but it's no gain, and it brings up second down. No gain on the play. Second and 10 at the Chargers' 40-yard line. Now a man open down the middle of the field. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. They get six, that'll leave them with third and four. Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes and they're going that fast, any that he is into the end zone for a Washington touchdown. Their mobile, agile quarterback. 34 yards, and Washington has taken a first quarter lead. Well, they were backed up on third and goal, and when you saw him start to scramble, my thought process was he'll get what he can and maybe get out of bounds. But he got a little bit greedy there, and in this case, greed was good as he got into the end zone. Point after here coming up. It's good, and Washington will take a 7-0 lead. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And a long run there in the end to top it off. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This will be fielded inside the five. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. At their own 25-yard line. The Chargers get set to go here for their second drive. And the last drive, the first drive for them, not very good. Three and out. What do they go to here? Well, you don't look down at your play sheet and say, this is what the problem is. Now let's find out who my playmakers are. Get the ball in their hands and maybe the offense will move a little bit Sometimes better. Sometimes it's more important to get it to the right people rather than dialing up the right number. Exactly. Or the, the right play, yeah. That too. <laughs> Call it no gain on the play and it'll be second down. Landon Collins made the tackle. <laughs> on second down, here's Herbert. That's caught by Jackson. Herbert's going to be a pickup of only a yard, and that's going to lead to a third down. It's a gain of a yard, and it's third down. From the shotgun, here's Herbert. He'll drop this down to Jackson. And they're going to get him down well short of the first as he can only get this to the 30. He did his best to just get four out of that, but not enough. And now fourth down. Well, the good thing about covering any game I do with you is I know that there's no problem with rhythm. Now, what we're watching offensively, a little bit of a problem there. Yeah, punt on the first drive, looking at another one here. Just a little slow. It, you know, they, they were talking about a fast start, but that hasn't been the case. Yeah, and let's face it. Any team we cover always talks about a That's fast true. start. That's true. But it's not necessarily going to happen just because they say so. And whether it's the script, whether it's, you know, just what they're going through, whether it's seeing different defenses, they're going to have to figure it out as this game moves on. 43 yards on the punt, 37-yard return. Now Washington going to retake the field for drive number two. And that last touchdown drive, a good mix of pass and run. Defensively, they just looked a little out of whack. And it's so hard to stay up with an offense that has things going so well where you're guessing and guessing wrong play after play. So what you need is someone on the defensive side of the ball leader, right? to make a big play. Yeah. Throw that balance out of whack. That's what you're looking for now. Not worrying so much about guessing what the play call is. There are the numbers for Cook from a week ago. 
Seven catches, 52 yards. And I get the feeling that he loves this matchup. I mean, the unit he's going against is in the bottom half of the league against the pass. He had to have circled this one on the schedule and said to himself, this should be a big game. That one good for 20 on the catch and run. Oh, that was a nice job there. Quarterback and receiver reading the pressure that was brought. They both knew it was going to open up the middle of the field. Nice little shake and bake at the line of scrimmage. Got right into his route. And the quarterback hit him in stride, and he was able to run free after the catch. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 43. Back to throw here. Thrown across his body, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Casey Hayward, and he's able to get it back to the 41-yard line. They'll take over first down. You're looking there at a defensive back who's maybe a step slower than he was when he came into the league a decade ago. I know I question his speed coming into the game, but what he's lost in speed, he's more than made up for it with intellect. And that's a great job of knowing how to position himself to make that interception. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. And last drive, three and out. Still a goose egg on the scoreboard. How do they break that goose egg? They've got to find a way to get the ball in the hands of their playmakers, get them some space, and try and make a first down and get some momentum going. It's been a struggle for them throughout the game. And that three and out on the last possession, that told you just how stalled they are on offense. So who will step up here? We'll see. At the 47-yard line. Here's Herbert now on second down. And this is caught. First catch for Keenan Allen. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. First down, Chargers. A quick check on the numbers for Keenan Allen from last week. Four catches, 73 yards, and a touchdown. And you know what he did all week in preparation for this one? Hydrated. Salivated. Yes. <laughs> stretched. <laughs> dreamed. Going against the last team in the league against the pass. Yeah. He expects to catch everyone thrown today. You're right. They have struggled 32 of 32 in that category. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, And with a flag down, he goes down. So they're able to sack him. Now the penalty looks like it could be holding. Let's find out. So they will take the sack instead of the penalty. And it takes another down off the series. But the biggest one of all, do you want to tell the guy who just got the sack that it no longer counts? <laughs> no. No, not at all. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Able to convert on third and 14. A terrific play call. And I know you can't really see it, but that play spells frustration with a capital F for the guys on defense. They covered everyone else, end up going to the running back out of the backfield, and he picks up a back-breaking first down. In Washington territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 35-yard line. Out of the gun, Herbert. And he cannot avoid the pressure as the Washington pass rush gets home. Montez Sweat make that now eight sacks for him on the season. That's three sacks now, and that's not much of a surprise to me, nor should it be to you. This team, they lead the league in sacks. Yeah, they do. This is something that we are starting to witness time and time again. some hot water now after that sack it's second and 21 <laughs> operating from the gun Herbert and the pressure gets to him again he's the one that drops him this go around and that pass rush getting strong here back to back sacks I'm starting to feel for that quarterback back there I mean you know me normally don't have a lot of empathy for the QB right in this case Definitely. He's been on constant duress this entire game. I don't know how he's surviving back there. And to think, there's still a long way to go in this football game. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. From the gun, 
Herbert finds the open man. It's Mike Williams. Herbert, and he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. They do get nine, but it leads to fourth down. One of the money routes for any offense, the drag route. So tough to defend because the receiver can stop at any point and make himself available to the quarterback and get a completion. But I love the communication we saw there. All the defenders pointing out the receiver, where he was going, and then they're able to rally to the ball after the catch and stop him short of a first down. And here's Joseph Charlton now as he's on to punt for L.A. And the kick's away as he angles this one for the sideline. And this will be up to the ruling of the side judge here. He says it crossed out of bounds at the 16-yard line. Now we get another look at Washington on offense. A tale of two extremes already in this game. A touchdown pass on their opening drive, followed by an interception last time out. Now it sounds like things balance out, right? What's that, that mythological thing that we do? If you have a candy bar, have a diet soda with it, it balances it out. And we know that's not really true, right? Because the interception, that sting lingers a little bit longer. Got to come out now and put together some nice plays. Successful start to the drive, 17 yards. It moves the sticks. Well, we can talk about it like it's just a basic route, but how about the timing on this one? Lined up on the right, runs a deep in route, and how about the throw? Right on the money. Bam, puts it right in there and on his hands. Nice completion, really good pickup. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. On the ground with Bryce Love, the former Stanford Cardinal. And a hard-earned yard there as he ran through one would-be tackler. It's second down. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Second and nine now. Finding the open man, and that's Tim Patrick. The reception good for seven. It's third down. That's a gain of seven. Brings up third and three. Back to throw. Yeah, that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. And that's exactly what defenses talk about. You've got to find ways to get off the field when you can, especially on third down. And third down defense going to be vital in this game. Able to knock that one away and force a fourth down. The attention shifts back to Justin Herbert and the Chargers offense. He's playing pretty well. I don't think it's necessarily him changing up something he's doing, but that old line, they've got to protect him better. They do. They've got to make sure that they give him more than enough time in order to find targets downfield. And sometimes what happens when these things are going on is that the, the field general will step up and say, hey, that's on me, guys. I didn't get rid of it fast enough. Anything to try and relax them a little bit and take some pressure off because they do know that they are trying. Yeah, well, we've seen the four sacks so far in this contest. One yard gain. Brings up second. On second down, this is Jackson. At the 23-yard line. And it worked his way across the 30 to the 32. A good run as he works his way for nine that time, and it'll leave him with a third and just a few inches. Makes it third and inches. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Seven, Chargers nothing. The Chargers on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. They're looking at third and a few inches. Now Jackson. And that's going to be good for a Chargers first down as good running gets him to about the 44. At the 44-yard line. Yeah, they really needed to get something going, didn't they? They had punted on the last two possessions. The running game starting to come to the front for them, providing a nice pickup there to keep this drive going. First down now. Bringing it in, Jackson left side. And a 
Now time is called as we've got an injured charger down there on the field. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break. Had the completed pass, but for no gain, stopped right at the line, so it's second and 10. Operating from the gun, Herbert. And the pass to Henry is intercepted. He's picked off near his own 48. And he will bring this one back. It is a pick six for a Washington touchdown. It goes without saying, but I'm going to say it anyway. That's a ball he would like to have back, and it lands right in the lap of the defender from there. He doesn't have very far to go before he gets to the end zone, and he got there in a hurry. Slide for the PAT. And it's good to make it 14-0. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Taken about seven yards deep. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. And the attention shifts back to Justin Herbert and the Chargers offense. And he has not really been able to have a lot of comfort back there in the pocket. Pressure's been coming at him a lot, hasn't it? And they've got to figure out how to tamp down that pressure. How do they decrease it? Is it getting rid of the football quicker? You know, shorter drops? Maybe they do something different with their pass blocking and their protection schemes. Maybe you meet them on the line of scrimmage instead of retreating to try and protect your quarterback. They've got to figure something out, though, because you cannot let your guy get hit that much. Not if you intend to win. Now I know they'd like to erase that video and those four sacks that they've seen so far. On second down, here's the option. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. The Chargers on third down, two for five to this point. Here it's third and two. And it's third down. Here's Herbert. He's got a man. It's Williams. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball, and what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. From the gun, Herbert. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Operating from the gun, Herbert firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus, and indeed, he gets enough for the first down. Herbert operating from the red zone. And he's going to go down here, a sack. They push him back to the 34. Montez Sweat make that now eight sacks for him on the season. Well, someone's been up to the task so far in this game. They are already up a couple of scores, Brandon, and guess what? I think they're just going to pin their ears back now and get upfield and get after the quarterback. It's been such an impressive first half to get that lead. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. 
They'll run it with Jackson. And they won't fare much better here as he maybe gets back to the line. No gain on the play this time, and it'll be a third and long situation coming up. From the gun, Herbert. Nice job there defensively to clear. And the Washington pressure gets to him, and he will go down. Chase Young has now recorded 10 sacks on the season. I'm starting to wonder if this offensive line just simply doesn't like him. I mean, they've given up six sacks in this game. He's had nowhere to go, nowhere to run, and obviously nowhere to hide. And all those sacks in the first half, this is just complete domination. On is the Chargers punter now as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. And a nice job here to down this one right on the five-yard line. So they'll play the field position game here as a very nice punt is going to pin them back. Yeah, it's almost like watching a game of tennis, or do you prefer ping pong, you know, back and forth like that? But that definitely was excellent, wasn't it? Getting set to go again as we look at the back, heading onto the field again. He only has a single solo carry, one. Numero uno, second quarter. They need to get in the ball more, don't they? I'm not the greatest statistician in the world. Yeah, you are. But a back like that with only one carry kind of takes me back to college in the classroom. Not enough evidence to declare what you should do the rest of the game. Give him the ball some more and find out. Will they incorporate him? We'll find out. And they were backed up to start the drive, but not anymore. Now, that's the play call that the offensive coordinator had in his head. You saw the end result. He wanted to go ahead and push the ball downfield, and that's what they did. And they wound up with good yardage there to get things rolling. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. And brought in by the tight end, Cook. The pass complete. And they'll employ the jumbo set now on second and one. Ah, that's tough to play zone defense when they can just curl up right there in front of you. Yeah, absolutely. Well, if we talk about finding the soft spot defensively. How do you make sure they don't find the soft spot like they did there? Tough to do because what they normally will do is run routes that'll pull you out of that spot they want to get into. That's what we call not taking the cheese, right? Don't go for the mousetrap. But it's hard to do because when you see a guy cutting that in that direction, you tend to go towards him. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. All told, it's an even 30 and a first down. I remember from my experience as a defender, when the big fellow gets the football, you've got to get on him early before he gets a chance to get up ahead of steam, because once he does that, he's going to leave a lot of tacklers in his wake. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Now Ward. And he'll go down right on the edge of the red zone following a pickup of about seven or eight. The tackle by Kenneth Murray. A seven-yard pickup brings up second and three at the 20-yard line. And here's a throw that's taken in by the tight end, Cook. And they'll get this down to the 10. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. First down and goal to go. Shotgun handoff now for Love. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. No gain on the play. Leads to second and goal. On the ground with Ward. And running room hard to come by here. He gets it down to the eight. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. A two-yard pickup brings up third and They'll look to throw on third and goal. The quick slant caught. And he takes this down to about the two before going out of bounds. They wind up with six on the hook up there, but it's not enough. Fourth and goal. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes. And this is taken in for a Washington touchdown. Steven Sims, his ninth touchdown of the season. And Washington is able to stretch their lead. 
What a great drive that was. A long drive, sustained, well executed. I love what we're seeing out of him here in year two, right? This young quarterback continues to evolve and grow. He's really the adage right now that John Wooden, the famous basketball coach, used to say. Be quick, but don't hurry. You can see that everything is happening for him, but he's not taking it at a pace that he can't sustain. And it is now 21 to nothing. A 10-play drive that time. And it was polished off by a Washington touchdown. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. 23-yard line. And we spotlight Keenan Allen as he gets set to go back to work. They've got to be thinking, how can we get him a little bit more involved here? Second quarter, you're down, and really, he's been out of the mix. I would agree with that, and oftentimes you hear, well, we're just taking what the defense is giving us. But sometimes that's just not good enough. Sometimes you have to take what you want. And that means getting him the football. Yeah. But he cannot avoid the pressure as the Washington pass rush gets home. Justin Herbert sacked. This offensive line flat out cannot handle this pass rush. We've seen it demonstrated time and time again to the tune of seven sacks in this game thus far. a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Herbert. He'll find Williams on the slant. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. The Chargers on third down. Three for seven so far in this game. This time they face a third and two. And tight coverage there. It's knocked away incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. Has to be a little bit of frustration there. Back-to-back -back incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts. This time on third down. Call that a 45-yard punt. Just two yards there on the return. And it will be Washington football now with a first and ten. And out trots Jared Cook with the rest of his offensive mates. And CD, assuming he stays healthy, assuming the health, should get to that 1,000-yard mark pretty easily. And the best part of what he's done so far is it allows him and the team to relax their pursuit a little bit, meaning if they just have normal games, they'll get to the 1,000-yard mark. They don't have to force anything. But one of the reasons he's having the year he's having is what I call route-running arrogance. They think there's no one that can cover them. No matter how many people are put in, put in his direction, it just doesn't matter. He's going to find a way to beat them. And so far this year, he's done exactly that. He sure has. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook. Go play action. Toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. Three-yard pickup brings up second and seven at the 38-yard line. Now this one complete on the slant route, and he'll be stopped right at midfield. 12 yards there and a first down. First and 10 at the 50-yard line. On first down, Love. And he'll get this forward only for about a yard as that's going to take us to the two-minute warning. Credit the tackle there to Uchenna Nuosu. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. At the 50-yard line. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Looking for McLaurin, and he's got him. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 39. It's a first down for Washington on a pickup of 11. Good strong throw and catch right there. Under pressure, and down he goes. Jerry Tillery just would not be denied. That's a loss of seven. Well, maybe that can give him a little bit of a pick-me-up, a little bit of a jolt. One of the few things has gone right defensively. Because other than that, it's really been a first half to forget.
Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Now a throw for the left sideline, and he's got it. A good pick up there, 13 yards as they get closer for third down. And that was yardage that they needed there after the sack on first down. They didn't get all of it back, but now they look at third down as a manageable situation, one that they have a much better chance of picking up. This will be the eighth play of the drive here, third and four. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. He'll get this to Ward. The Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one. A 49-yard attempt. And his kick here is good. And that stretches this lead even further. It's now 24 to nothing. 24, Chargers nothing. So in the end, they had the ball for 10 plays, but the drive gets them three, not six. Is it okay if I give credit to both sides on this one? Absolutely. All right, let's start defensively. They hung in there. 10-play drive. But they stiffened when they got close to the goal line. Made them kick a field goal for the offense. 10-play drive. They might be a little disappointed they got a field goal, but they moved the ball down the field with dispatch and came away with points. On first down, it's Herbert. And he'll find his man on the out route. That's Allen. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. 16 yards right off the bat with a first down. When you struggle on offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. A shotgun snap for Herbert. Throwing left side here, and it's complete. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts, as it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. Herbert setting up to throw on first down. Yeah, a quick throw here, that's complete. Herbert's pass. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. The Chargers going to use their third and final timeout as they stop it with 19 seconds to go in half number one. Again, Herbert. And that is incomplete. 16 seconds now on the clock. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. He came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. To the air again, Herbert. And he comes back with one complaint. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A gain of nine yards. First down, Chargers. So we've come to halftime after a very one-sided beginning to this one. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Things definitely getting interesting around the NFL as we begin the month of December. So let's get right to it. We'll start with an NFC matchup at MetLife Stadium. The Giants hosting New Orleans. And it's the Saints who have the lead in the second quarter. Traquan Smith, a touchdown reception. From there, we'll head to Cincinnati to check on the Bengals at home at Paul Brown Stadium. And they have the lead over the visiting New York Jets. Joe Mixon, over 100 yards on the afternoon thus far with a touchdown run as well. Finally, let's get right to the center of the U.S. map and check in on the Chiefs at home in Kansas City. And you can see they trail the visiting Cowboys. Two touchdown passes there. For Dak Prescott. Meanwhile, in our game, it's been a back and forth first half. Who can put it together in the second half? For the answer, we turn it back over to our broadcast team of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right. 
right, Coach. Thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. So Washington in a good spot. They've got the lead. They will get the football as the second half gets underway. And we will not see a return to start the half as this will be a touchback. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on, here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. When we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. On third down, he'll drop to throw. That'll be complete to Cook. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. That was a nice throw out there to the flat, but they defended that pretty well. The hope is to go ahead and put it on him so he can turn and get upfield and gain additional yardage. There just wasn't anywhere to go on that play. Here's Tressway now as he'll punt it away for the second time. So possession goes over here on the punt, and it'll be Charger football here as they take over. Now we'll look at the Chargers offense. They get ready for their first possession of the second half. And Charles, they trail by three scores. Look, they're not completely out of this, but it's sort of go time right now. Yeah, and they knew that coming out after halftime, it was going to take a collective effort to get back into this ball game. The defense got the stop for them, so maybe that can get things started. Now the offense has to pick their game up as well. If they can put a score on the board, Hey, they could get back in it in a hurry. First play of the drive going for 14 and also going for a first down. This pass finds its way to Williams. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. An excellent pickup of 20 yards. Well, we talk all the time about playing situational football right now. I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do. Where they are in this game, they've got to push the ball downfield, take their shots try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. That was a nice play there. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. Here's Jackson. A gain of three, second down. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. Brings up second and seven at the 45-yard line. Here's Herbert now on second down. And right side, Henry's got it. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down from the shotgun. Here's Herbert. Quick hitter here. It's complete. Herbert, And he is going to have the Chargers first down. They needed four. He doubled that. He wound up getting eight. Catch number 44 of on the year. It's a first down. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moot. Yeah, they're right there in that middle ground. Field goal range. Punt. Go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. He'll drop this down to Jackson. And he's going to have just a couple here with a marker on the field as well. Holding offense. Oh, man, come on. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. A play fake, and now Herbert to throw. Going deep here for Allen. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Keenan Allen, the intended target, but it's going to be second down. 
It's now second down and 20. Six man. Check cross, check cross, check cross. Herbert throwing again. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. Complete to They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. And it's third down. Going to throw on third down with Herbert. And this complete to Henry over the middle. Herbert's pass. And he'll be stopped short of the first down as they rally to tackle him at about the 28. Let's just break this down and make it pretty simple. Key to the drag route, letting the play develop, finding the hole in the defense, and giving your athlete, yes, athlete, a chance to make something happen once he has the ball in his hands. Here's Dustin Hopkins Dustin now to try the field goal. The field Spotted goal. at the left hash, this from 45. And Hopkins' kick is good. The kick is good. And they get a little bit closer here as the lead's down to three touchdowns. Chargers, three. So the scoring drive encompasses nine plays, and the net result, three points. Take your disappointment and put it aside. Nine plays, yeah, they want to end up in the end zone with a touchdown. I get that. But sometimes those nine-play drives pay dividends later with another nine-play drive that culminates in a touchdown when they wear down a defense. Washington ready to try again on offense. They're out in front. Last time they had to punt it away. We'll see if they can add to their lead now. They don't want to go out and, and punt it away again. This team now wants to get a cushion, put people away. They want to run their offense and have it. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 35. And his crew will take over with a football at the 35-yard line. If they needed a break, they needed to make a play here in the third quarter. Defensively, they did that. Now they got to go quickly and get some points on the board. And the best part is that they've made their own break. Taking the ball away, now they just look at their offense and saying, guys, let's go. Come on, capitalize on this one. They run on first down with Jackson. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. It'll go as a gain of 11 at a Charger first. Despite the score, despite the deficit, no quitting this guy. He's running angry, running through arm tackles. He wants to change what that scoreboard is saying. This is Jackson. And he takes it down to the 10 yard line. Justin Jackson. A good gain of 14 there, and it moves the chains. Consecutive plays now where that offensive line has really created a lot of space. And we've seen the confidence rise, haven't we? It borders on arrogance now, and that's that good arrogance, believing you can run the football whenever you get good and ready. Took till the second half, but finally a red zone opportunity here. They've got a first and 10 from the 10. And he's not able to get away. Sacked back at the 22. Chase Young in there to drop him for his 11th sack of the year. That's his second sack of the game. The best defensive ends, they do their homework as much as offensive guys do. They know how to beat the offensive lineman across from them, what moves they need to do to set them up. This guy's been pretty good at it all game long. That huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. Herbert now. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. Herbert. The reception good for seven. It's third down. A gain of seven yards. And it's third down. Out of the gun, Herbert. That's caught by Jackson. And he is going to lose yardage here. Tough sledding. They lose a yard there on third. Really good defense.
defensive effort. They were all over that little swing pass out to the right side before lost yardage. Terrific read, better execution, and done with a lot of enthusiasm, wasn't it? Yeah, absolutely. They saw it all the way, ran to the football, and caused a nice play for lost yardage. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. From the right hash, just a 34-yard attempt. Hopkins' kick is good. And the deficit drops now from 21 down to 18. 24, Chargers 6. So the drive stalls out inside the 15-yard line, but they do get three. And I've talked with enough players nowadays that when they have these types of kicks, that no one says to their guy, hey, that's just like making an extra point, piece of cake. Because the extra point's not a piece of cake anymore. <laughs> but kicking a field goal from that distance, just give him confidence and let him knock it through. Out comes Washington's offense as they get set to take over here. And last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play calling. Because a one play drive where you throw an interception, a lot of people think the very next time out, run the football, don't give them a chance. Maybe play action? I think maybe you go play action, show your quarterback, get a little confidence in him, and let him fling another one. After a play like that, it should be congratulations all the way around, I think, because if you can stop a big fullback like that, that's not easily done. Yeah, he does not go down easily. You're right, but he did there. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Now they'll throw here out of the gun and brought in by the tight end Cook. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. A gain of 11 makes it third and one. They'll look to throw for it on third and one. And the Chargers rush is going to get there. Down he goes. Ochina Nuosu in there to get him. And that is sack number six now for him on the year. Third and one, they opt to pass it. And the one thing happened that could not happen, they took a sack. Yeah, I just wonder, is that an indictment of their offensive line? Did they think that they couldn't move them enough to pick up a first down there? Or was it analytics? Did they think about it that way? In any event, they'll be studying that in the future. And now the putter, Tress Way, as he sends this one away. The Chargers take over first and 10 at their own 20. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder and puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. No gain on the play there. Second down. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle. That's what we saw right there. Yeah, and that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends. They're like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold them to no gain. It's a gain of four. And it's on third down. Herbert firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. It's a gain of 11 and a first down L.A. First down. Well, a lot of times when you get a manageable third down situation like this, you have to think about your tight end, and he comes through for him, picking up the first down. They'll run on first down. It's Jackson, and he's going to take this one up only to about the 44-yard line. The ball carrier. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. A gain of a yard brings up second. Operating from the gun, Herbert bringing it in. Jackson left side. It's a loss of a yard, so it's back to third and ten. He steps out of bounds behind the line of scrimmage. From the gun, Herbert. Short pass caught by Henry. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", 6'5", and up. 
A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You're getting better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. Now we get another look at Washington on offense. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. And the last run got three. Now here's second and seven. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. Staying on the ground, it's Love. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 16 yards, a first down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. And they run the option here on first and 10. And he's going to be stopped up quickly here. Right. Just a yard up to the 39. He's brought here's down second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Game. Brings up second and nine. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. That's complete to his receiver, McLaurin. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. Open man is Sims. He's got it. They only needed one yard on third down. They get 10 instead by going to the air. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. They run it with Ward. Justin Jones there on the stop. Charles, you'd said the magic number was probably right around 20 for this defense because they're facing one of the top five offenses in the league in terms of points scored. They've had their moments, but this offense, just a little too good, isn't it? They really are because no matter what you do to make an adjustment on defense, they've had an answer for it. Just a couple on the pickup there, and now it's third down. Third and three. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 19. They give him 16 yards there, and it's a Washington first down. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way. It worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. On the carry, it's Love. And he's going to push his way down to about the 12. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Now, I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. Third and one. Now the pressure gets there, and he goes down just inside the 20 at the 19. Credit the sack to Joey Bosa. And Charles, they only needed a yard there. They try to pass the football. What do you think? Well, I can't really go all out and kill them for the call because that third and one fake and throw it over the top for a big play, that often does work. But in this situation, the pressure got to him. 
So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. It'll be from the right hash, and it'll be a 36-yarder. And his kick is right there. It's good. And that will stretch the lead up to three touchdowns now. It's a 21-point game. So it's three more points, and that widens this thing out even further here in the fourth. And you know in this league, you can never have enough points, but this widens it out, as you said, and now it's all about ball control, isn't it? And this will not be returned.